Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Davy J Today. I'm your host, Davy J, and today we're going to have a deep conversation about something we don't normally talk about on my channel, but bear with me. We have some good things to get through, so thank you for joining me on my show today, and run that intro. <laughs> I'm Johnny Abrahams, and you're watching Davy J Today. You're watching Davy J Today. Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold, are we right. rolling? Can I get a, you're watching Davy J Today? Uh, you, uh, <laughs> uh, you, uh, you're watching Baby J Today. <laughs> you're watching Davy J Today. All 200 of you. Okay, great. Everybody, how are you? How are you? Are you okay? How about you? You good? Okay, good. We are live. Well, not really, but we are recording live from the office today. And I just have a couple things on my mind currently that I just need to get off my chest. I let about a week or so for this to sink in. And the topics I want to talk about are, well, first of all, before we get into the sadder things, it's my birthday in about an hour of me recording this, so when you see it, it'll be my 35th birthday. That's right, December 14th, 1987 is my birthday. And yeah, it's just amazing to make it to 35 with all the things I've been through. Um, it's just a miracle. So anybody who watches my channel, thank you so much. You make my birthday even better than it already is. So I'm happy to turn 35. I'm even happier to be able to have my own show on YouTube that more than 10 people tend to follow. So it just makes me happy. So thank you for following me. And um, I guess happy birthday to me. Oh, anyways, maybe I'm overzealous. Who knows? Anywho, so let's get to the sad parts. The first thing I want to talk about is... You probably guessed it already, right? Who is this? Let's see. Kirstie Alley, that's who I want to talk about. We've got Look Who's Talking, and if, in case you haven't noticed, that's on Betamax, right? It's hard to find, and here we go. We've got Look Who's Talking 2, the sequel, and some may argue that Look Who's Talking 2 is better than the original. Um, I guess it depends. It just depends on your taste, depending on what you like. I like both of them equally. I can sit through both, but don't get me started on the third one, which is Look Who's Talking Now. Uh, is it okay? Sure. But... Bottom line, when I was growing up, I would spend a lot of time at my aunt's because before I went to kindergarten and preschool, I would stay at my aunt's for daycare and she had a bunch of pre-recorded HBO movies. So I remember digging through her library of recorded VHS tapes and I take this one. One day it was Poltergeist and then the other day it was Tommyknockers and then another day it'd be Indiana Jones and then boom, I landed on Look Who's Talking. Never seen it before. Popped it in, fell in love with Kirstie Alley, primarily because Kirstie Alley has this maternal way about her. In the movies Look Who's Talking and Look Who's Talking To, there are several moments, especially in the first one, where she looks into the camera and she's like, So you're the one that's been kicking me. <laughs> well, you were the one that ate all that spicy food. You know, just like a mother, you know? So when I'm little, I'm watching Look Who's Talking and you got Kirstie Alley in your face being like, ooh, 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 oh, you're so cute, oh, look at you. I used to watch that movie all the time. So I watched it for the first time at my aunt's. And then every Tuesday I would go to Mr. Movies. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in preschool because my preschool was directly next door to Mr. Movies. And so what I would do is I'd be like, mom, can we go get 50 cent movie day? And I'd always rent the same three movies, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, and Look Who's Talking, or Look Who's Talking Too. I would constantly switch and rent one of those every other week. And yeah, I just fell in love with Kirstie Alley. There's other things that, of course, syndicated episodes of Cheers. Cheers was legendary. I didn't get a chance to watch it too much. I know she was very funny. I've seen a few episodes, I know the deal. I also know that it was one of the most popular TV shows of all time. And I believe Kirstie Alley won an Emmy for it, if I remember correctly. Her biggest roles, one of my favorites besides Look Who's Talking, was Drop Dead Gorgeous. And Drop Dead Gorgeous 
If you're from Minnesota, you know that was filmed right here. It's homegrown. It's Minnesota's own. The thing about Fargo and Drop Dead Gorgeous and movies that are made in Minnesota, I feel like they go a little bit overboard with So you've, uh, you've judged a lot of pageants over the years? No, 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 wait, no. Never judged a pageant before in my life. Mm -mm. With the, yeah, don't judge, no, don't judge, no, you know, that kind of. Someone say something? Minnesotan talk, because you know, some people have a heavy northern tier accent. I'm from Minnesota. I don't have a huge northern tier accent. At least I hope I don't. Um, I don't think I do, so. You might say that a pageant is old fashioned and demeaning to the girls. Yeah. What sick is women dressing like men? Oh, you yeah. betcha, Iris. Kirstie Alley as the beauty queen's mom in Drop Dead Gorgeous. Perfect. And you will not find a back room in our video store. No. It was like the perfect spot on motherly role for her. Nailed it. And from then on, I mean, I was just always in love with Kirstie Alley. Uh, another one that I loved her in was It Takes Two with the Olsen twins. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Everybody remembers in the early 90s, there was a Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen craze. So when they had their first official studio film, which was It Takes Two. Kirstie Alley plays, spoiler alert, she falls in love with someone and adopts the twins. I don't know. Anyways, it's weird. It's a total kids movie, but she's great in that too. Kirstie Alley was just around and would be in so many films that I would watch growing up. And so to me, she was kind of like that motherly character. I felt like I knew her even though I didn't know her. So when I heard she passed away from cancer, and uh, I want to stay away from those trouble words, uh, but yeah, she got the C word, and then she ended up going away very fast, and it was quite sad. So rest in peace, Kirstie Alley. We love you. Your movies and film roles will always live on, and I will always think of you as not only a wonderful actress, but... A great mother there's no way that this woman from what i've read she's a great mother in real life so thank you christy alley for being my temporary babysitter growing up i will never forget you okay and the second thing i want to talk about is jdf who is that jason david frank ah for those of you who grew up again in the early 90s like me i'm a 90s baby through and through Bleed it! Jason David Frank famously played the Green Power Ranger on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. And he reprised his role over and over and over again. That, that series still goes on today. And he's reprised his role as, I think he was on Power Rangers about four years ago was the last time he was there. So very recently. And... That's devotion and loyalty. This guy was a real martial artist and he did all of his own stunts. It's extremely noble and obviously he loved the fighting style and just that form of acting. This guy's fucked up. It looks like I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Man, that dude is pumped. Who is he? I don't know. Probably some new kid in school. He is really cute. He was very loyal to his fans. If anybody came up to him, he gave them the time of day. He would sit with them, talk to them, sign an autograph for them. It always feels good as an actor to have to have the fans there because the fans is what makes the project. And I came out, said hello to the fans. I signed the autographs. I even ran into someone who was emotional, who almost made me cry. He was a fan of mine ever since he was five years old and he got a chance to meet me. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks for coming, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want me, you want me to sign this for you? Sure. Yeah. There you go, man. Thank All right. you, man. Those are those. Let me let me just guess. Those 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 are happy tears. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want no one to leave sad. <laughs> no, I'm happy, right. man. All right, buddy. All right, man. Make, make me make me almost cry, huh? And it looked to me like he was kind to everybody at all times, which makes it even more and more sad. Not to say if you're mean and something happens to you that it's not sad, but he was just so great and so kind-hearted, so wholesome, and it's very unfortunate that we lost him recently uh, to the S word. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but um, you can research and find out how he went. Um, it's very sad. And again, if you're feeling those tough, dark feelings, 
please get some help. It's always a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So if you're feeling down, tell somebody. That is the most important thing. Please tell somebody. And uh, of course, we know that Jason David Frank went on to play the White Power Ranger and so many other great roles. He was just always so loyal to his fans and to the Power Ranger community. And we'll never forget him for being the coolest, in my opinion, the coolest Power Ranger. And actually, Amy Jo Johnson, who played the pink Power Ranger, Kimberly, who, how could we forget? She was like my first crush ever. Played a little song for him. She was crushed. And I'll play a little clip of her Instagram. She was just so sad and it, it like broke my heart. So let's play a little clip of that. Hi, it's Amy Jo. Um, I don't know, I just thought I'd come on here and just say hi and um, <laughs> Just thinking about Jason a lot, and um, and I hope you guys are okay. I know how much, how much you all meant to him, and um, it's just so sad today. Just really sad, and I know all of you are so sad. It just really stinks, right? It sucks. And um, I don't know. I just, I just thought maybe, I don't know. Some of you just needed a, a place for a second. Just maybe, I don't know, everybody take a moment of silence or something and, you know, I know that you all meant so much to him, as you all know. And, um, yeah. Um, anyway. I'm thinking about all of you guys. And I'm sending you all love. And, um, yeah, it just really sucks. <laughs> it sucks. And and I hope anybody out there who's feeling depressed and sad or lost or like there's no other way, just know that there is and please reach out for help and it's that's just it's not the way. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay. So, that's that. I was gonna sing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Jason always really liked my singing, so I was gonna come on here and sing for you guys. Um, I really miss him and I'm gonna miss him and today is a really hard day and today I'm really really sad. Oh, anywho, Kirstie Alley. John Travolta and Kirstie Alley had the best chemistry and I think that's why Look Who's Talking had two very successful sequels. It was a really cool franchise and it was always very successful and super funny. And you know what? I love watching those two act together in the same movie. So may they both rest in peace. Kirstie Alley, Jason David Frank. If you don't know what's happening, I'll leave a couple articles below to explain it. And of course, we're always going to miss the Green Power Ranger and our very favorite Hollywood mother, Kirstie Alley. I've said my piece. Now it's time to hear yours.